So at the start of this scene, we have Andy, the main character, in an incredibly vulnerable position. He's about to get pushed off the roof by Sheriff Hadley for stepping out of line during prison work duty. And in a second, we'll see the camera change to Andy's point of view, where we can get his perspective as he rapidly approaches the edge of the building. The use of the fast-paced, shaky handheld camera for this shot allows us to get a sense of the danger Andy's in. We can see him essentially approaching his own death as he gets closer to the, the edge of the roof, and we can see that right here. Then we get a bird's eye view shot of Andy hanging over the edge of the roof, which really helps emphasize the amount of power Hadley holds over Andy. Andy really has no room to move, and one wrong word would ultimately mean the end of his life. The camera then pans down from the bird's eye view and levels out to where Andy and Hadley are both shown at eye level. The only reason Hadley stopped was because Andy grabs his attention by claiming to have a solution to the sheriff's problem. The angles here are really indi indicative of the power dynamics of the argument, though. The fact that they are both at eye level suggests that neither man has the upper hand anymore in the argument, and uh, this is a big contrast from when the high camera angle is used, uh, and we're looking down at like a helpless Andy hanging over the edge of the roof. After that, the camera circles around them and switches back and forth between over-the-shoulder shots, as Andy negotiates for both his life and a weird request, but a few beers for some of his co-workers. And it really is a back and forth negotiation. Neither one of the two gets more camera time than the other. And from this eye level back and forth banter that's going on, it's clear that Hadley no longer holds all the power, but Andy is gaining some leverage. Hadley ends up giving in to Andy's proposal, and he reluctantly pushes Andy to the foreground of the shot. And because of perspective here, Andy can be seen as, as bigger than Hadley. Now this is really symbolic of Andy's victory over Sheriff Hadley, or the man whom Red, Morgan Freeman, who narrates the movie, calls the hardest screw that ever walked a turn at Shawshank State Prison. Wake up while it's cold, ladies. The colossal Prick even managed to sound magnanimous.